Hi, I'm Leslie, co-owner of Pacific Northwest Pilates. And this season, Paulina and I are gonna show you a series of exercises using the wobble cushion to really target the abdominals. So we're gonna start with a uh, series of uh, sit-ups. You're gonna place the wobble cushion right behind your upper back. And then what I want you to do is start with your, your lying in a nice long line. You're gonna do a slight nod of your chin and then you're gonna curve up and really actively use the upper abdominals to bring you up into a curve. At the same time, you're maintaining your lower back in neutral. You're gonna lengthen back down to a long line. So you're gonna do a slight knot of your chin. Exhale to curve up, really deepen in, deepening the abdominals. Inhale, take a breath there. And then exhale, you're gonna lengthen back down. And you can see that Paleen's really working her abdominals to bring her up. She has to use her obliques and her rectus abdominis to bring her up, but also stabilize with her with her lower abdominals. The wobble cushion is making that a little bit more challenging. So we're gonna add a, add a little bit of rotation to this. You're gonna rotate to one side, still keeping the hips level, and then come back to the center. It's not gonna be a big movement, but you wanna really think about bringing the ribs over and across to the opposite hip. The elbows are staying pretty stable, so it's really about the abs working. Good, and come back to the center. Just do that one more time, really keeping the back stable, that lower back stable. There should be a little curve in the lower back. Good, come back to the middle. Try that one more time, Paleen. Good, and you can really see she's working there. Her abs are shaking, good, and come back to the center. So this time I want you to just hold your position. You're gonna try to bring one leg up in the air, again, without affecting the lower back, and then take the foot back down. You should really be able to keep the pelvis level, okay? Neither hip is lifting. That's it, and take the foot back down. Once again, picking the right foot up, no change in the pelvis, good, or the lower back. And of course, you wanna really support your neck throughout this whole thing. So if your neck is getting tired, you wanna support your neck a little bit more or take a break in between. You also wanna make sure that you're not pushing or pulling on the neck. You wanna make sure that the neck is being supported by the hands. You've got a nice wide position for your hands so that your neck is really stable and supported and you're not cranking on it as you curve up. I also wanna show you the same exercise come on up off of there, Paleen, and we're gonna put this behind your back. We're gonna do two wobble cushions and you'll see, you'll see that brings her up a little bit more and gets her head a little bit more upright and this helps for anybody who has neck issues uh, who needs to be a little bit more upright. There'll be a little bit less tension on your neck as you're doing it if you have the extra disc. And you can do the exact same series here. Okay. So again, just a slight nod of your chin. So you're gonna look up at the ceiling, little nod of your chin, exhale to curve up. So you can see her starting position is a little bit more upright. Good, and then coming back down just to that long line, good. And again, little nod of your chin. She's really supporting her neck as she does this, really using the abdominals. And Paleen's doing a great job of not pushing on her neck, but keeping her head and neck in line with the rest of her spine throughout. Great. 